If the Kremlin deploys any T-14 Armada main battle tanks to Ukraine, it'll probably only be for propaganda purposes and not because of its purported advanced capabilities. The tank probably wouldn't be sent into combat largely due to a lack of confidence in the platform. That was the assessment of the UK's Ministry of Defense last month. Any T-14 deployment is likely to be a high-risk decision for Russia. Eleven years in development, the program has been dogged with delays, reduction in planned fleet size, and reports of manufacturing problems, the MOD announced in its daily social media update this last January 19th. Sending the tanks into combat would likely be high risk for Moscow, the MOD also noted. An additional challenge for the Kremlin would be adjusting its logistics chain to handle the T-14, as it's larger and heavier than other Russian MBTs currently employed in Ukraine. If Russia deploys the T-14, it'll likely primarily be for propaganda purposes. Production is probably only in the low tens, while commanders are unlikely to trust the vehicle in combat, the MOD added. Since the start of the war, which began when Russia launched its unprovoked invasion nearly a year ago, the Russian forces have suffered from poor logistics, resulting in the loss of perhaps thousands of main battle tanks. There have been reports of Russian conscripts issued with outdated equipment and old rations, while many soldiers have been provided no winter clothing or cold wear gear, either bringing their own or requesting that families send it to them. In addition, due to the significant losses of its more modern tanks, including the upgraded T-72s and T-90s, the Kremlin has been forced to deploy older T-62 main battle tanks to Ukraine. Many of those tanks are older than the crews operating them, and a large number have been abandoned as the crews have seen them as little more than metal death traps. Moscow may not want to risk the T-14 in combat, as it would be a major propaganda coup for Kyiv if any of the tanks were destroyed. Instead, a few T-14s may roll into uncontested areas, which will allow the Kremlin to stage some photos and then highlight how well-supplied its forces are on the front lines. Another issue for Russia is that it likely lacks enough tanks to even make a difference on the battlefield. Though the T-14 was first unveiled at the 2015 Victory Day Parade in Moscow, Russia lacks significant numbers of the platform. The Kremlin had announced soon after its debut that the Russian army would be equipped with upwards of 2,300 of the advanced tanks. Yet, to date, only a few dozen at most have been produced, and it's unlikely that Russia will ever have more than 100 in its arsenal due to the high costs. Even producing that many could be a challenge due to the Western sanctions now imposed on Moscow. Of course, the T-14 isn't the only advanced combat platform that Moscow has largely held back. The Sukhoi Su-57 multi-role jet fighter has been used in a handful of sorties, and then it only fired its weapons into Ukrainian territory from within the safety of Russian airspace. So the bottom line appears to be that Russia has no faith in its T-14 Armada tank.